Martin brothers, let me tell you something. I only see him going one way in the NWA. Straight, and straight to, the, to top. the top. You got that right. And on NWA on fire, I got to tell you, I enjoy watching these kids. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, so do I. I think, I think they're fantastic, fantastic tag team. And I think they, they're going right to the top. There's no, no They're not going to be stopped. They're not going to be stopped. And there you can see our audience of, in the thousands in New York, New Jersey. And guys, let me tell you, the NWA wants to wish you and your family all the best in this holiday season. And right now, you can see Kyle Durgan is wishing for something, and I don't think it's happy holidays. I think he's looking for a few teeth. He might, he might have lost him around the ring somewhere. There he goes again. There he goes, <laughs> just, <laughs> what just in you. his jaw, Tommy, just yeah. like you said. But I'll tell you who took a shot. Oh, it was yeah. Danny DeMonto took a shot, boy. Oh, oh yeah. But you know what? That, that Danny DeMonto, he, he can really take a lot of punishment. I think Danny needs a little bit of fine-tuning, and we're going to see a future NWA world champion. NWA on Fire returns Sunday, December 28th to the Nassau Community Center. Special bell time, 6 p.m., a triple main event. The Logan Brothers and Juicy Justin go up against the new Players Club. A mixed tag team match. A lady in a midget. Coco Beware versus Cactus. All the NWA on Fire stars. Get your stocking stuffers now. It happens. You rip, tear, and never have time to repair. Wait. Before you throw it away, let Mighty Mended save the day. Hi, Billy Mays here from Mighty Mended. The fast, easy way to mend, hem, and wear it again, saving you money. Mighty Mended is not a glue, but a flexible bonding agent that grabs, adheres, and interlocks the fibers of virtually any fabric for a permanent repair. Sewing takes forever, but with Mighty Mended, just apply, gently touch, and mend it. It has the strength to withstand storm force winds. Amazing! You'll find hundreds of money-saving uses. Call now and we'll send you a large bottle of Mighty Mend It for just $19.99. Order now and I'll triple the offer absolutely free. We'll even include a travel size and money-saving idea guide. But I'm not done. We'll send you a bottle of Gem It. Yours free. You get everything for just $19.99. NWA on Fire returns to Mexico, Maine on Saturday, December 27th, 7.30 p.m. bell time at the Mexico Recreation Center. See all your favorite NWA superstars. See a six-man tag team woman midget match. And the main event, Coco Beware versus Denny Terry Funk Inferno. Get your stocking stuffer tickets now. Tommy, we're back, and we've got one of the least most popular people in all of the NWA. And I'm not talking about William Palmer. I'm talking about the giant pharaoh. I got to tell you something. This guy is an absolute freak of nature. I just think he's a freak. I think he's nasty. I think he's arrogant. I think the money's gone right to this guy's head. And I'm glad I'm sitting a 1,000 feet away from him right well, now. Well, you know, uh, up to this point, his opponents really, you know, don't really stand much of a chance against him. But I'll tell you what. There's a certain fellow coming, on, coming down the line by the name of Apollo. And I can't wait for him to come. Well, he's issued I the can't challenge. wait for that match. He issued the challenge. He went to the NWA week after week on TV and said we were not giving him stiff enough well, competition. Well, he did it with me in one of my interviews. Absolutely. He told me that uh, he issued the challenge to anyone out there. And uh, you know what? Apollo took the challenge. And you know what, guys? We've done promo packages on Apollo. We have something coming up after this matchup where you'll be very happy to see a little bit more of a highlight package for Apollo, a coming soon type uh, montage. But let me tell you something. Well, did you see what he just did there? It's you the see, cockiness. All he wants to do is issue punishment. I mean, that that, that that man was finished. He was down. He had him pinned, and he just laid off the pin. William Palmer's a big kid. He's six foot two, 290, 295 pounds. I know. But and I, the Giants just toying with him right now. And there you can see it's just inflicting punishment, like you said, Tommy. He hates the American people. He hates the American people. That's another way of life. point. Right. He does hate the American people. For some reason, he's got it in for us. And I don't know why, but he does. But I tell you what, I think it's all going to come to rest when Apollo hits town. I, I'm hoping, you know what, I'm on the same page with you this time, Tommy. I'm hoping Apollo could knock this guy down a few pegs, but you know what, it's not going to be a small task. No. He is 7 feet tall. He weighs almost 400 pounds, and this guy is undefeated right now. Right now he's undefeated, you know, but uh, all good things come to an end. 
I got to hope you're right on that one, Tommy. You know, because this guy is just plain vicious. He's just plain nasty. Tommy, tonight in Mexico at, at the Recreation Center, he's in action. And, guys, if you're there, just remember, bring your American signs, bring your American flags, show your support, and don't let the giant get to you. Because you know what? His thinking is what's wrong right now in this country. We have to be proud of the United States. That's right. You know, and uh, he actually despises America and he despises the United States. The only reason he's here is to make American dollars. That's right. You know, and uh, he's making American dollars all right. He's doing okay with that. Uh, oh, my God. That was a devastating shot to the back of the head. Oh, he's just beating down. William Palmer right now making a statement, Tommy. Well, this guy is really finished now. I don't know why he just doesn't pin him and get it over with, but he, that's not his way. He just wants to inflict Tommy, punishment. you've traveled all over the world. You've been a referee in hundreds and thousands of title matches all over the country. Is there a time when the referee, right now, Fred Richards, senior referee in the NWA, is there a time you just need to step in and stop a matchup like this, Tommy? Absolutely. There, are, there is a time where you just got to step in and either DQ him or stop the match. Uh, you got to do something. You just can't let the, the, that young man take the punishment he's taken. I've but, seen you do that multiple times. You know, uh, I believe it was George the Animal Steel many times. You, look, you have to do what you have to do. You're the referee in the ring, you know, and uh, you got to take basically, charge. You're saving a, a young wrestler to see another day, basically. Exactly, exactly. You don't want to inflict permanent damage on the boy, you know. If that's exactly what this guy is doing. It, it, the Pharaoh is uh, just having a good time. He's yeah. just giving his kid a Size world of pain. 21 shoes just coming down across imagine the Imagine that, imagine neck. that. Those are, those are pontoons. I, I've seen families Wait live in a houses second. smaller Wait than a those. second. You know, you've got to give Palmer a little credit. He is trying. He is trying. Oh, there's no quitting this kid. He's a good red-blooded American kid. And, you know, maybe his, you know, his ways in the ring aren't as polished as some well, people. But I think he's just, he's just out of his class right now. Absolutely. I don't think he's up to that class yet to meet someone like this Farrell. Uh, you got to give him credit for signing the contract. Oh, yeah. He signed the contract. He went in there. But, you know, I, I, I kind of think he's having second thoughts about that right now, though. Because this foul is not going to quit until this. He's just going to keep putting a world of hurt on this kid. Once again, he had a chance to go for a pin. Instead, he picked nah, up his opponent. He won't do tosses it. Tosses him off the ropes. Giant boot to the head. Here uh -oh. he goes. Here he goes, summoning the past gods of the world. Here he is, Tommy. It's like he's channel channeling. Right, He's right. just getting energy from an unknown source right now. I don't know where he gets it from, but I'll tell you what. he is. I got to say one thing. He's one tough dude, uh, and it's going to take a bigger, tougher dude to bring him down. Oh, huge chokes. Yeah. That's got to do it. One, two, three. Oh. Folks, you're a winner and still undefeated. The anti-American, the giant pharaoh. That's right, anti-American. Finally, the call has been answered. Finally, the National Wrestling Alliance did not get me a gladiator. They got me a so-called warrior. Who are you, great Apollo? Are you Apollo, like the Greek god? Are you all powerful like Zeus? Or are you but a mere mortal, but a speck of dirt on the heels of Hercules? Well, great Apollo, this giant god king Pharaoh will put you to the test. In Springvale, Maine, December 28th at 6 p.m., you will stand face to face with a conqueror. Are you a warrior, Apollo, or 